Arkansas is a beautiful state, and we know that it contains many majestic lakes, forests, rivers, and mountains. But, like most other states, Arkansas also contains its fair share of hidden secrets. Massive abandoned facility? Check. A forgotten ghost town? Check. Okay, how about a clear, blue, sparkling, and seemingly tropical sandy beach? Check. Yes, Arkansas has all of those, and as a matter of fact, they're all hidden in the same single location. Welcome to the Forsaken Lake, Quarry, and Ghost Town of O.K., Arkansas. Until the late 1980s, the town of O.K., Arkansas was home to a major limestone mining operation located on a peninsula on the east side of Millwood Lake. Founded in the late 1920s, this facility included a plant, a railroad, and even a small town for the local employees, all of which have since been demolished and abandoned. It all started in 1926, when Charles Bocher, founder of Ideal Cement Company, based in Denver, Colorado, sent a team to scout out a potential Arkansas plant site after learning of the growing movement in Arkansas to improve roads and bridges. They chose this location due to its rich deposits of limestone and chalk. Cement foundations were poured in November of 1928, and on October 2nd of 1929, less than a month before the stock market crash, the plant began production. The original capacity of the plant was approximately 4 million sacks a year. While the plant was under construction, an employee village of some 40 small homes was also built. Named after the company's OK brand of cement, it included everything needed by residents. Indoor water, sewer, electricity, and gas were available, with water and electricity provided for free by the company. Soon, the town also included a post office, a general store, a meeting hall, a church, a school, tennis courts, a golf course, a croquet field, a basketball court, and a baseball diamond. Though many of the plant's male employees served in World War II, the plant still continued to operate at full capacity throughout the war. All in all, the plant remained in operation for more than 60 years. However, by the early 1960s, the self-contained company town was slowly disappearing, and employees were encouraged to live elsewhere. In 1960, the clubhouse and store were demolished. By the end of 1972, only the plant, a church, and the manager's house remained. Though the OK plant was profitable in the 1970s and early 1980s, the parent company was experiencing financial difficulties. The financial concerns continued into the 1990s, with the plant shutting down in 1993. By 1998, the area was all but deserted, and today, all that remains are the crumbling streets and structural foundations, a few neglected buildings and statues, and an astoundingly beautiful blue lake on the site where the quarry used to be. The lake is so captivating that it wouldn't seem out of place at any tropical destination. But instead of tourists, turtles, and dolphins, this lonely lake instead holds under its surface the story of the rise and fall of an entire mining facility, a community, and a way of life that are now no more. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Explore RC if you're enjoying my content, as well as clicking on the notification bell to be notified of any future videos that I produce. I'll see you on the next one.